All right, guys, AEP just showed up. They had to uh, check to make sure the transformer was set for uh, more trailers. If not, they were going to have to run another pole. So you can see right here, uh, yeah, right there, there's a transformer on top of the pole. And if it wouldn't work for the amount of trailers, they were going to have to set another pole right here. And then we would uh, tap off it and run into the, uh, in, um, into the service for the trailer. So anyways, when he came, he gave me a meter, and now I can go ahead and start on my electrical process, and I'll just, uh, we'll, we'll head to the store, pick up what we need, and I'll show you everything you need to get, get guys. Oh yeah, one more thing, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the meter base that he gave me. You guys can get this from your local uh, power company, whoever you pay power to. So right here it is, let me flip this camera around. Alright, anyways, this is the meter base, it comes with a hub, so you don't have to buy a hub for it. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much what they give you. And he gave me some instructions for uh, setting the power, or setting the pole and things like that. If you guys want to look at that, I'll actually put that a picture of this up so you guys can kind of look at it. And then your meter's going to set in right here when you're ready for your service. Alright, let's head to the store. Okay, this is your... Uh... Your main service panel right here for your outside. And I'll go ahead and open this up and take this out. Inside your box, you're going to have a grounding screw or a bonding screw. And that's just going to bond your ground to your panel itself. Here's a cap for your hub. We won't be needing that. You also have a another lug right here for your neutral. Knock your center hole out. And that's what this right here is going to come place. This is a, a coupling, male to female, and you'll put it in just like this. All right, I got a two pack of uh, conduit lock nut. They're still rigid. Get you two of those, um, which you only need one. So if you can find them in um, packs of one, that'll work. Lowe's doesn't sell them as ones in my area. And then you're going to use your insulating bushing. It's a plastic bushing, two inch bushing. And you'll just put that right on there. And you want to use your rain tight hub, two inch hub. You can get these at your uh, uh, hardware store. That was an eight millimeter socket, by the way. All right, this is a two inch by three inch uh, steel nipple. And make sure you get you some thread tape to put on the nipple. All right, here's a little pro tip, by the way. Anytime you're putting tape thread on, you wanna go in the direction of the thread. So if you're gonna tighten this down, to tighten it down, you would go in this direction. So also I use the bottom side of the tape. And I'll just lay it on the bottom of the thread here, put my thumb on it, put your finger in here, and just roll right around it. Okay, there's one turn. We're gonna go three turns. Two, three. Now I'm gonna work up the line a little bit. One, two, three. And then just rub it in. base that you'll get from your local power company you want to knock this right here out before we knock that out though get you uh, some more steel lock nuts and go ahead and put that on your nipple ready to slide this up on your nipple and just work it in. 
and then get your other insulating bushing. Make sure it's a plastic bushing two inch. And just slide it right up on there and tighten her up. Okay, right here is you a service entrance bushing. This is going to be the last thing you're going to need for this little setup right here, and it's going to go on top of the hub of your meter base. And that's where your service entrance cable from the uh, transformer is going to come in and drop into. All right, just a recap of everything we've done so far. If you come down here to the bottom, you got a male, female. This side is threaded, this side isn't. This is set up for your conduit. Uh, you'll put that in first. Come back to the other side, put your lock nut in. And then a bushing. Okay, that's all you're going to need right there. Come up to the other side. You can close this and begin your work right here. You'll have a hub that you'll have to put on to your uh, square D. And then you'll have to have a 2 by 3 nipple. Okay, make sure that you put pipe thread on the bottom side of your nipple that's going to go into the hub. Upper side doesn't need it. I put it on there, but it doesn't need it. Lock nut, as soon as you get this, these two tied in, put your lock nut on, on the top side, set your meter base onto your nipple, and then come up here and put your lock nut in, and then put your bushing on it, okay? Once you do that, you want to come up here and put your service entrance bushing on. There's already a hub on our meter base, yours may or may not come with it, so just make sure you put pipe thread on your service entrance bushing that goes onto your hub. This is going to water seal this piece and this piece. All right, we're in the dry. So now what I'm going to do is take my tape line and put it down in here. Oh, it hung right there. So that tells me I'm 40 inches. So my cable needs to come down, come out a minimum to 40 inches. And you're gonna to have to account for the cable coming out, up, and around, let's see, around, and down into your lug. Same thing for a size. So I'm gonna measure all that out. I'm gonna measure to the tip of it, the, the top tip down to where I said 40 inches was. So we're actually 60, 65 inches to the top and then another nine inches down, might as well say 10. So 75 inches, so six foot three inches. So I need six foot three inches coming out, okay? Now we're gonna feed that through until we get six foot three inches of cable coming out of the pipe. Once we get to that point, we can uh, bring it up through the underneath the house, push it up through here, come out here, pull it through. I come outside, I find out where the cable is going to drop out, which is right there. And I'll measure from here down to the ground. Okay. And I'll get that measurement. So you can see right there. Anyways, once I get that measurement that goes to the ground, then I'll start right here so i'm assuming that the cable is going to come down and touch to the ground right here so after i got my measurement from here all the way up to the top of that panel i'll measure from right there and i'll measure out where my pole is going to be so my pole is going to be right here Let's see if you can see that so we're 11 feet from there to the pole is going to be right here that's 11 feet now remember guys you got to go two feet in the ground with your cable so you have to add two feet down on both sides so that's a total of four feet so you got 11 feet plus four feet that's 15 feet and then you have i have two feet from the ground up to the floor so that's 17 feet and then I, your meter has to be right around five to six feet so you might as well add another six feet to that 
which is going to put me at 28, if I'm doing my math right, I forgot my numbers. Anyway, uh, you're going to be 28 feet right there's my pole, by the way. Uh, 28 feet. So I got a total of 30 feet. That gave me two feet to wiggle around with. Once you figure out all your pipe and your angles, go ahead and buy your pipe. You have that schedule 80 on the outside. You can have schedule 40 underground, but uh, you want to get that pipe. Make sure you get your grounding rods. I have two eight feet grounding rods. They have to be eight feet apart. Let me back up a little bit. They have to be eight feet apart from each other. So wherever your pole is, you can put your first grounding rod right next to your pole in the ground, and it has to be buried completely. And then the other one has to be eight feet from this one. So you can put it anywhere you want. I just go eight feet out wherever is convenient, and that's how I usually do it. And then you want to uh, tie all that in. I'll show that to you later. Right here is your service entrance cable. I got 12 feet of it. It's raining on me. Uh, anyway, I did not glue anything here. So I put everything together. I put it up in there. You'll probably see it on the time lapse over there. And then I put that in and obviously put it in the right spot to go up for my service installation. The only thing I did glue together is that coupling to that elbow. I did not glue the coupling to this uh, schedule 40 down here in the ground. Remember, your minimum requirement underground is two feet, which is what I've done here. I have two feet. It's under the house. Then I'm running over to my pole and running up. They want your... Uh... Ah, let me get out of here. I got to pull this stuff out. Okay, I've pulled my pipe out. Got a piece there. Piece there. I, I know which order these go in. And that piece back there. Now, uh, before I get started, just want to show you guys a really good tip. Before you even unwind this stuff, go ahead and tape it every foot. Or a foot and a half, whatever. But anyways, you want this stuff to be tight and wound together. Well, it ain't working against you, okay? So make sure you guys do that before you start winding in. When you get in your uh, elbows... If you bend the cable down and then feed, you'll see that it'll slide right through. But if you don't, if you try to pull it or anything like that, you're just going to be fighting against yourself. So make sure you bend down like this is the loop. And you're sending the cable this way. Push that cable in that direction. Which the best way to do this is set this thing up and down like this and feed your cable down. Just like that. But if you roll the cable as it's going in, it won't catch the lips, guys, okay? All right, so the easiest way I found to do this is go ahead and put your male to male threaded and female pipe in on your uh, conduit and just leave it like this and what you want to do is get your square d put it on first get everything tied in bolted up and then use your meter base to continue so on your meter base all i leave inside of it will be the lock nut and your bushing <clears throat> Down here, you're going to have your nipple, which is on your hub already. And I have my lock nut on the top of the nipple. And then I'll have my lock nut and my bushing that will go inside the meter base. So I'm just going to fast forward through this real quick. High speed, putting this together and uh, kind of show you step by step once we get done with that. <laughs> Uh, just a quick update so if you remember i left the nipple and the hub um together before i put the base on i bolted down the hub to our uh our square d load center and then i set the meter on top of the hub now remember you have to have your lock nut on the bottom before you set that meter um on top of it that way it don't fall all the way down to your hub and then i just put my lock nut on and then i put my 
plastic bushing, two inch bushing on. And that setup is ready. All I have to do now is bring my wire in from my breakers right here. Let's see. Right here and here. And shoot it up through here and tie them into each lug on both sides. And uh, don't forget your neutral. Right here in the center, you'll have to run it too. Run your neutral down, neutral down, put it into your bar right here. And now all I'm doing is, now that I have all this together, I have my lock nut that I started right there and I worked its way all the way around to right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on, and then I put my bushing on top of it. And all that's really for is so your cable is up against this hard surface. This bushing is going to kind of protect it. I brought my wires up, measured them off, cut them. As you can see now on my ground, instead of going up to the left side and then making a hard angle and straight down into my lug, I just came to the right, stayed up against the wall, went all the way up and across and then down. Okay, that was actually the first one that I did. I put it in. That way it's kind of neat and out of the way. The other three, I could just run them straight up to the lugs. Um, make sure you put NOAA locks on it. I've already put them on there. Uh, you guys probably didn't see me do it, so there I'm going to show you. It is on there. That is important. Grounding uh, screw right here, or bonding screw. You can see it's even labeled bond screw. You got them on either side. I, I typically put them on the same side as the neutral. And uh, tie my neutral in up here. Got my two hots that are going to go up into the meter base. So here's your meter base. And the neutral goes up to the middle, ties in. Noah locks is on these as well. Uh, left side hot, right side hot, and now I'm going to bring my service entrance cable, go ahead and drop it in. Right here is that bushing, the service entrance bushing that I was telling you about. So what I'll do is I'll uh, just slide this up on it and um, feed it down in here, mark my wires, put them in, cut them, you know, tie them all in, and then I'll show you guys that. Alright, so I inserted the uh, service line, well actually I put the, uh, the uh, service entrance bushing on the line with the nut fed the line in hooked all this up and then uh, now all i have to do is tighten this nut down to uh seal up the gap in here for this surface entrance line once that's sealed up i'll uh my first strap will go 12 inches the rest can be 30 inches apart all the way to the top of the pole so i'm gonna work on that and uh that should finish us up with that part, and then we'll put our grounding rods in, which are eight feet long. They're copper, eight feet long grounding rods right there. And I'll put one next to the pole. I'll drive it into the ground till it's flush. I have uh, nuts that will go over that to hold on uh, to hold to the uh, eight gauge or the four all, uh, copper wire that's going to go in here and tie into the panel. And then the other one has to be eight feet apart, eight feet away from the other grounding rod. So I'll probably put it down here somewhere in this soft dirt. The, uh, the so <laughs> it's not supposed to be in soft dirt. But anyways, I'm gonna drive it down right there next to that pipe, all the way down, hook it up, and I'll show that guy, uh, show that to you here in a minute. Hey, that's that. Hey, that. You're about there, another foot and a half. Yep, the boss. All right, quick tip. Before you start beating on this, put your, uh, your lug on here because you sometimes can't get it back on once that flattens out. It's got to go eight feet to ground, eight feet from the other rod. 
Just keep that in mind. And uh, now I'm gonna put my grounds on. All right, so just now got the indoor panel finished and I was just gonna show you what I've done. I took all the breakers out. And after I've done that, I just bent these ends around and measured them off, cut them, put my nose locks on. I don't know if you can see that on there. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. So I'm gonna give you a good look from back here so you know what to do. Ground goes on this small lug right here, which is your grounding bar. That's the bare wires. And then over here, the white wires is your neutral. So your neutral goes on it. There we go. So that's it. Now we'll get this inspected.